Remote Corrective Maintenance in the Industrial Environment. This lesson has been prepared by Mirko Lovisetto, trainer at NI Proveneto. Introduction. With the advent of Industry 4.0, it is essential from a corporate competitiveness perspective to prevent automation systems from remaining down due to malfunctions. Industry 4.0, also known as the fourth industrial revolution, is by the integration of digital technologies, such as IoT, Internet of Things, AI, artificial intelligence, and big data analytics into manufacturing and industrial processes. This revolution is transforming how industries operate, making them smarter, more efficient, and highly interconnected. Corporate competitiveness. In today's fiercely competitive market, companies need to pursue operational excellence to sustain and bolster their competitive advantage. Essential to achieving this objective are efficient and dependable automation systems, which profoundly influence production rates product quality, and overall operational expenses. Significance and down of downtime prevention, operational efficiency. Downtime in automation systems can cause substantial disruptions in production workflows. Such inefficiencies not only diminish output, but also escalate operational costs through resource and labor wastage. Cost implications. Unplanned downtime can be incredibly costly. It encompasses not only the immediate loss of production, but also the cost associated with repairing equipment, potential over time for staff, and expedited shipping to meet deadlines. Product quality and consistency ensure consistent product quality. Malfunctions can lead to defects and variability in the products, which can damage the brand's reputation and result in recalls or rework. Data-driven decision-making. Industry 4.0 relies heavily on data from automation systems to drive decision-making. Downtime interrupts the flow of data, impairing the ability to make informed decisions and optimize processes. Let's have a look on the training unit overview. Training unit number one, system operating parameters. Learning outcomes. By the end of the lesson, you will learn how to enter the operating parameters of an automation system and decide which alarm threshold to set according to which the system will send a malfunction alert. What are operating parameters? Examples of operating parameters. What are operating parameters in the remote maintenance? Operating parameters refer to the specific conditions or set points under which a system, machine, or component is designed to operate up. These parameters are crucial for ensuring that the system performs its intended function efficiently and safely. Importance of correct setting of operating parameters. The correct setting of operating parameters is crucial for the optimal performance and safety of an automation system. It ensures that the system functions within its design limits, preventing damage, enhancing efficiency, and maintaining safe PLC. A PLC, Programmable Logic Controller, is an electronic device used in industrial automation for the control of machinery and processes. Like computers, PLCs are basically made up of two parts. Software, which is the abstract part made up of the operating system and all related programs. Hardware is the physical part made up of all the components that make up the controller from the case to all the electronic device. PLC is in the middle. We have the input Kia Portal development environment. Kia Portal is an integrated software development environment by Siemens for designing, configuring, and programming industrial automation systems. It provides advanced tools to manage the entire life cycle of the system, allowing engineers to integrate PLCs, HMIs, drives, and other devices into a single platform. Kia Portal simplifies the development process, offers the simulations, and supports parallel engineering, improving the overall efficiency of industrial automation. 
let's create a new project in TIA portal version 18. We insert hardware components from the library. We enter the project configuration and passwords protect in the properties of each individual component we configure. Basic operating parameters, IP addresses of the machines, accesses to the web server. We create program blocks by inserting input, output, any memories or functional blocks, alarm threshold. And this is all for this first lesson. Thank you very much for your attention. Please remember that this video has received funding from the European Union Erasmus Plus Cooperation Partnership in Vocational Education and Training Program. You will find more information on the website Erasmus Plus. Thank you.